In this week's video I talk about a frequently underreported injury type of the ankle joint that can cause persisting pain and is easily identifiable on MRI. So before I show you this pathology on MRI images we have to understand the anatomy and the concept behind this injury type. First of all you need to know the anatomy of the deltoid ligament and I made a video about the uh, a few months ago and you can find the link to this video in your upper right corner right now or in the description down below. So this is just a summary here. We have the superficial layer with these three components here and these three components are basically inserting onto the medial malleolus and they are blending in with the periost that is uh, covering the bone there. The same thing is happening with the flexor retinaculum which is here running obliquely and also inserting here onto the medial malleolus and blending in with the periost. And then here we have this uh, superficial layer of the deltoid ligament. Now if we do a cross section at this level, tuck, it looks like this and we have the medial malleolus, this one is the talus, this is the medial malleolus and it's covered by periost. And here in the front we have fibers of the superficial deltoid ligament, the, in this case the tibionavicular ligament, that are blending in with the periost at the side of the attachment and on the back there's like an extension here where the flexor retinaculum is inserting. So what can happen in an in a ankle uh, sprain is something like this. Tack, we have any kind of a trauma and we get a rupture at this side and this is um, not a a rare side of injury so it seems to be quite a frequent injury location but it's not what we are talking about in this video. The injury type that I'm talking about in this video is uh, a, a little bit more difficult to see if you're not familiar with it and you have the trauma and what actually happens is you have a avulsion or a detachment of the periost at this level including the insertion of the superficial layer of the deltoid ligament and the flexor retinaculum. And typically what you then see on MR is some fluid in between this um, dark structure and the bone basically below the periosteum. So we have these three structures here that are in continuation. It's this fibrous sheath it has also been termed the fascial sleeve of the medial malleolus. And if you have this kind of injury you can name this an avulsion of the fascial sleeve or a stripping of the fascial sleeve of the medial malleolus. And it's important because if we have this stripping of or avulsion and we have the posterior tibial tendon down here we might actually have a instability of the uh, posterior tibial tendon here. So let's have a look at the normal anatomy on MRI can see here the deep portion of the deltoid ligament and then we have the superficial fibers here, tibial spring, ligament, etc. I will not go back to that in a more detailed fashion here, but you can see how this ligament here is nicely inserting into the bone and blending in with the periosteum that is covering the medial malleolus as it is covering all of the bone. We are here at the level of the ankle joint. This is the talus, this is the medial malleolus. Let's go inside a little bit like this. And then we can see the periost covering here the bone and here this is one of the portion of the superficial deltoid ligament that is inserting here. And then we have the one that is going to the navicular bone and we have the one going to the spring ligament and to the sustentaculum. So this is the superficial layer inserting here, periosteum and then we have this uh, fibrous sheath and then it's in continuation here with the flexor retinaculum that is holding the flexor tendons here in place. Really nicely seen here just one structure in continuation here and here also in a in a term sequence you can see the flexor retinaculum here blending in with the periosteum and then here blending in with the superficial deltoid ligament here. This week I would like to welcome my newest patron, Shyam Sundar, and also thanks a lot to all the other patrons for their continuing support. I made a few changes on my patron page and you can see it here. I have basically different tiers where you get even more um, exclusive content. So go check it out if you haven't already and maybe see you there. So this is uh, one of our cases after an ankle distortion and we have the medial malleolus here. We can see the fibers of the deep 
ligament which are not too bad they are slightly deranged here and if you look at the superficial layers we can right away see it's a little bit hazy we don't really see the proper black ligaments as we used to see in the previous images but have you noticed where this ligament is now inserting it's no more inserting here and it's actually not torn like completely here but it's stripped off together with the periost here from the medial malleolus as you can see here now it's not so easy to appreciate here on this coronal so let's go on and have a look at the axials so this is a transverse proton density weighted sequence we can see the supramedial spring ligament then we have the tibial spring ligament here and it's not inserting into the medial malleolus anymore here so this is the ligament as you can appreciate how it's inserting into the supramedial spring ligament going up but it's stripped off from the medial malleolus together with the periost this black structure here so this is the periost this is the ligament stripped off and then here we have the continuation with the flexor retinaculum also stripped off from the bone together with the periost so this is the fascial sleeve of the medial malleolus stripped off from the bone now you can also understand if the flexor retinaculum is not inserting here anymore potentially the posterior tibial tendon might have a stability issue which we cannot say alone from the MR but uh, just to, to keep in mind and for your understanding and this is another case we are at the level of the ankle joint this is medially and we can see this thickened stuff up here we can see the flexor retinaculum is not inserting into the bone so we have a stripping of the flexor retinaculum together with the periost and then in the front parts of the superficial deltoid ligament are still inserting onto the bone potentially here as you can see here while other parts are stripped off so this is kind of a combination uh, of this or a variation of this injury type of the fascial sleeve of the medial malleolus on the coronals it's also nicely seen so you can see we have this basically tear and stripping off the superficial layer here and this is basically the periost that should be attached here and these ligaments should attach here and not going up here and this is just the same thing on a transverse section and you can see this fluid here this ligament still inserting onto the bone the most anterior portion so probably part of the tibio navicular but then also portion of the tibial spring ligament as you can see here and this periosteum is stripped off together with the flexor retinaculum and we have fluid in between let's quickly have a look at this uh, publication by Julia Krim in HR 2015 very nice with surgical correlation and just give you the the images here we have the periost we have the flexor retinaculum and we have the superficial layer here of the deltoid ligament then this is the typical or one of the findings that you have these tears up here very common and then this is this fascial sleeve stripping or fascial sleeve of the medial malleolus avulsion with potentially destabilizing the posterior tibial tendon here and they show the same images here with the stripping up here and you can see here you have like these two layers here fluid in between just like here this stripping so it's really a good article go have a look at it uh, I put the link in this description down below you can go and read it or just read the images etc it's really worth doing okay folks that's it for this week make sure you subscribe to my channel and also give the video a like if you think it's helpful and see you next week